Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Being Chilling podcast. It's pretty professional. The live life love. The live life local. I'm actually oh, at uh, the Being Chilling podcast featuring uh, Mohammed, Brendan, and Jack. No, I'm not Mohammed anymore, bro. Oh, what are you? <laughs> I transcended into the universe, the universe of the, uh, the Matrix. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Bing Chilling Podcast. We're your hosts, Jack, Brendan, and Mo. Today we have a guest, Braxton. And today we're just going to be talking about whatever we decide to talk about. So, let's get going. Yeah, let's yeah. fucking go. Welcome, Braxton, to the Bing Chilling Podcast. Yeah, I'm Bing Chilling. Whoa. I actually have a friend that um, plays on my team that actually knows the... Are you going to talk about hockey again, bro? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Bro, if I you talk about hockey, you're wasting my time. Mo, shut the fuck up. Okay, you bro. speak, speak, speak. Bro. Mo, you look like Andrew no, Tate. Can just, like, if Andrew Tate was ugly. That's the most Chinese thing I've ever heard. <laughs> if you go, he can just go, he shall why shall why, or okay, whatever. Bro. But, yeah. He's just, he's not Chinese. He's very white. I'm um, actually, Mo, you're, uh, you're stupid. Listening to to some dorks, <laughs> some dorks. Okay. Yeah, dork. So, does anyone have anything to talk about? Or unless I'll start with some questions. Can I can I racially roast Mo? <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> is we it gonna get us? Is it gonna get us canceled? Just, you can blur it out. You can blur it out. Okay. Let me just blur it out. Bro. Not cancel me, bro. Hey, all right, Last you, thing. Can, you can scrub it out. Oh Let me just say god. what I want to say. Mo, I, you look like an Andrew Nate was about to scam people. You are not talking about the Matrix. That's pretty good, like, actually. You look like if Andrew Tate was about to scam people with tech support. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I've never, I haven't heard that one yet. Bro, I didn't know that that the they tech tech support. Okay, Mo, my, you work in tech support? My Jewish boy over here. <laughs> my Jewish boy. <laughs> my, my Jewish boy. <laughs> my Jewish boy. My Jewish boy. It's crazy. Braxton has like two pixel camera right now. Yep. Crazy. There's a, there's a white there's oh, a white no square. Sponsor. What are you doing, bro? There's a white square that is Braxton and then a green square which is All him. I see is green light. Green light from the heavens of the sky of the matrix. You can't even see that. That's all I see. <laughs> prime energy? Where did you get prime energy? Uh at prime? the Ada gas station they have it. <laughs> prime energy, you know what? Prime. This is also sponsored by Aquafina. I've the only water it. you should be drinking is sparkling water. Dude. Bro, only drink sparkling water. That's why he's fucking dead. I'm not even gonna lie. Harry Air, bro. That's the best. Why do you look like in the Matrix now? Why do you look like the way you look? (sighs) Yeah, Mo. That's why you look like that. I'm not even gonna lie. All those bubbles went to the BS forehead. All those. (laughs) Spread of bubbles, bro. Oh my god. What did you just say, bro? Bro, his hairline's been bubbling. Not even gonna lie. That's crazy. I transcended into the universe, bro. It's not even the hair at this point. It's just bubbles. (laughs) Look there. Mo, where did the hair go? Where did the hair go? Yeah, where did it you go? Spawn, you want to give a backstory? You want to give a backstory? <laughs> Sacrifice to God, bro. That's all I want to say. You said okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, for context, he went to Saudi Arabia and you need to shave your head. So he did. You don't. You don't need to go out. No, no. He Daddy. actually went to Turkey and Saudi Arabia. That's why he was gone for a few <sighs> podcast episodes. Pretty cool. Twenty-six minutes ago, we should have started twenty-six minutes ago. Mo, fuck you. Nah. Is there a city in Turkey called Gravy? Bro, what? <laughs> well, that was funny. That was funny, bro. Nothing? Whoa, bro, that's funny, because... Gravy. <clears throat> I'm actually, uh, Turkey's actually a country. It's not actually a food. If you're going to act like a geek in front of me. I, I, um, you suck, you suck. It's a, it's a country and not a state. Which I could have used to make money. Actually, uh, your mom? <laughs> I don't know where this is headed, bro. <clears throat> Actually, uh, you are stupid. Yeah. What's up? 
Mo, rebuttal. Guys, also a little um, little celebration thingy that I that I just realized before the podcast started. Um, I got an interview at Berkeley College of Music down in Boston. Oh. Big man, big man. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about Mo that. Mo got into uh, Andrew <sighs> Tate University. Hustlers University, brothers. That is not what it's called. It's called going into jail, bro. I don't know. Learn, it's it's learn, how to, learn how to be part of the sex traffic trade. Learn how to be a, Learn how to escape the matrix. God damn. He, sp- he spit straight <laughs> facts. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> the learn matrix how to degree. Be in the sex trade. God damn. We wanted I mean, you, Jack. Jake. I mean, Jake, we wanted you. Well, Jake escaped the Matrix. Jack, this is Wait, Jack right here, bro. You wanted, you wanted to tell me? You, wanted you, you don't want you anywhere, bro. But didn't dis- Jake, dis- like, dis- convert to Islam or something? Yeah. Hey, wait, That's like, 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 so like alternate you, you, like, podcast you. Oh. Bro fucking alternate converted you. to Islam. Yeah, no, I, apparently yeah. now I am. That was really weird in, uh, in Lyft class when he, uh... It was like an it was like an informal. Yeah, informal he like kind of touched person. you when you became Islamic. It was an interesting experience. It's like the, it's like the Midas touch, <laughs> except with Islam. Beautiful, the beautiful. It's like it's like the people in the skills it... commercial whenever they touch. No, no, no. Bro, turn to Islam. Turn to Islam. Oh no! <laughs> no, <I'm>, I'm... <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for that. You get the I, I praise praise God praise God. Is that one? I think, right? Yeah, that's what it's. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. Okay. My brother asked what that meant, and I was like, "Oh, that mean yeah." I don't. I don't want to offend any cultures. Okay? Yeah, no. Uh, Trying to get all that. right. Trying to get all right. No. Okay, you want me to ask some questions, or we were? Yeah, still go talking? for it. All right, all right. Cool, Question. cool, fun, yeah. fun, 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 fun. Okay. We have some questions for everyone. Okay. Hey Braxton, pick a number one through fifty. Thirty-seven. Dang, that's crazy. Thirty-seven. Okay, well this is kind of boring as fuck, but you know, who has been your most important professional mentor? Professional mentor? I know what Mo's I gonna mean... say. <laughs> what am I answering? Who's answering? Yeah, what's your guys' answer? Professional mentor. God, bro. That's all I need about. Oh, I thought you were going to say Andrew Tate. Oh. Interesting. Amen. God. Just God. God. If you please God, your life will be better. How has this turned into a religious yeah. podcast? What the fuck is going on? Jack, you okay? Your fault, bro. Jack, it's your turn to answer. What, Jack's what, already converted, bro. Jake, Jake has already converted. Yeah. Convert. yeah, what's what's your what's your favorite yeah. religion? No, Wait. what what's your, what? What's your most inspirational? Actually, quite like. <laughs> I forgot the question already. No, I don't answer that question. Uh, what's your okay. pr- favorite professional mentor? Like, is does that to be someone I know, or can it be like I just? Like, I guess it. Uh, he. I mean, I don't know how well Mo knows God. Maybe he has a personal connection. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be someone you know. He met the main man himself. Yeah, honestly, big man, big man guy, perky. big G, bro. Okay. Uh, what what is yours, Jack? As they like to say, toppest G. <laughs> toppest G. Ooh. Toppest. You mean bottom G? Bottom G's God? What? Top what? No, 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 yo, yo, oh, you just no. dissed Allah, Top man. G, you can't do that. You can't be doing that, Mo. Oh, no. That's un-Islam, hey, buddy. right? Un-Islam? That's Haram, yeah. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Right, professionally, like, I'd say probably, like, at least someone who's inspired me to want to do what I want to do is Hans Zimmer. Pretty cool man. Makes movie music. Cool. Goes... Ooh, man, that's crazy. That's pretty pretty good. Yep. Hans Zimmer does make some bangers, though. Okay, what pretty about you, notes. Braxton? Number one, uh, I could go with a for basic answer like uh, my flight class mm-hmm. instructors, the people that are teaching me how to fly airplanes because they're super professional. And they know how to do it. But I mean, I, I really hate to talk a lot about hockey um, on this because I'm more than that. But <laughs> I mean, like I'm I'm Completely a irrelevant. coach, and I guess my coach, like one of my coaches over in Detroit, um, he really helped me out with. Um, 
getting everything together, getting myself back up on my feet, getting my confidence back. And um, without him, I still wouldn't be able to play the sport today. So, I mean, he's definitely a big mentor for me, and he's definitely a really, you know. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Very cool. So hockey and aviation, those are obviously the two things that you are well-versed in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, mine's probably uh, the drone teacher himself. Not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants to be on the Bingsling podcast. But he's a I think crazy we should give guy. a shout-out. I think we could definitely give a shout-out. You want to give a shout-out to Mr. Fillinger? We're not going to give his full name. Just, yeah. W, w-, w- We should give out to... We should give out a shout out to uh, Mr. Baker of a <laughs> nice. different <Dude>. podcast. <laughs> yeah, Braxton, Braxton keeps disappearing. <laughs> bro, Braxton's going in and out. I'm going in and out of the matrix. Yeah. I'm transferred. Where, bro? Wait. For one of the agents, just stay away, <laughs> from, stay away from me, bro. Well, bro, what are you? You just in a an endless matrix loop. Honestly, <laughs> inescapable. Whatever you believe in, whatever you see, whatever you believe in, whatever you. Okay, you couldn't stop. You couldn't stop now. Okay. Um, yeah, shout out to Mr. Baker. He has a separate podcast. Shout out to Mr. Fillinger. He's got the same birthday as me, and he's great at teaching us how to fly drones, and it's a fun class overall. Not get it. Not get it. Kind of sus, bro. That's kind of weird. How's that sus? How's that sus? Yeah, well, he just said that. He was yeah. writing my resignation letter, and he's like, oh, we have the same birthday. Oh, Your resignation letter? Yeah. Rec- fuck. What? Recommendation what? letter. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Resignation, bro. I'm out of here. Get out of here. I'm out of here. Stop doing that, Jack. What the? Dream from the chat. From the chat. <laughs> Me and Jack is dream, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's uh, let's go on to another question. That was a very good one. Uh, Mo, choose the number. Seven. Man, that's a sussy number. I'm not gonna lie. Good number. Perfect oh God. Number. What's an insult that you've received that you're proud of? Uh, <laughs> top G. <laughs> no, you're not proud of him, are you? There's no shot. You're actually proud of Andrew Tate as current standing in time. He is the most innocent man in the world, bro. I swear, bro. Whatever you believe, whatever you see, that's the media. All right. <laughs> Great. So cap, bro. Like, Okay, great. If you believe right. in that, just stay away from it, bro. Interesting. Um, Interesting. Mine's not really an insult, but just like anything about like either being Jewish or being a German Jew specifically. The amount of times people have been like, oh, you're, atheist, you're German Jewish. and Jewish? Atheist. You're atheist. Literally, Ju- <laughs> Judaism is a culture. You're atheist. You're atheist. You stupid idiot. Okay, but you are like, atheist. You're is, like, wow, you're a German Jew, and I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, that's possible. It actually happened to me today, and it's not... It's so boring at this point where I've said it so many times. But it is my my, my heritage and culture, so I enjoy saying that, yeah, I am a though? German Jew. What? Aren't you atheist? Literally not the same as agnostic, but that's still not a cultural thing. Are you atheist, though? Literally? <laughs> bro, what are you saying? I was pushing religion onto this podcast, not even gonna lie. Okay. We'll go on to uh, we'll go on to Jack. You got any insults? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, probably when my sister called me Vector. You know, he's, he's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. He's, pretty, he's, he's still a pyramid, That's cool, bro. Yeah, he's still a py- Do you want do you want me to get the glasses that make me look like Vector? You want me sure. To yeah, we'll do it while Braxton's answering. <laughs> okay, have fun. Okay. So- okay. I have technically two different answers. Wait. One of them could get one of my teachers fired, so I'm not going to say it. The Can other I guess one, one, bro? Can I guess one? What? You're bad at hockey or something? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this entire thing is going to be hockey, but uh, no. One of them, I think, um, I think just today, I think one of them just called me just, I look like a piece of trash for having like all my buttons out and just said, just button up two i'm like okay i said well here's the problem i always look like trash so who who matters anyway he goes like i already know so how you present yourself i'm actually uh braxton i'm actually you're not actually trash okay you know that you're not actually trash yeah i, yeah, I mean like you're not you're not you can't be trash pr- trash like paper and food and that's the stuff you throw away you can't be that you're a human yeah. being. but i can be white trash 
That that is true. That I is. Do live right. in a, I do live in a redneck city. One's ma redneck. One man's trash really and another man's treasure. Oh my god, Jack, what are you doing? I just saw what you were doing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jack looks like a completely different person when you do that. This is why you get your dental work. Bro. Yeah. This is why you get your fucking dental work, you know? Stay away from children, bro. Jack, get away from children. <laughs> For the love of God, bro. Great. Mo, are you, uh, is, was yours top G, right? said what is that is that right was yours chop g is that the thing that you is your insult you know, that you are word proud of my, oh, i said god bro anything that insults god that insults you're my proud religion. of insulting god no 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 that any anybody who insults my religion but uh like me <laughs> bro's getting called from the the matrix yeah Okay, Jack, you can stop now. Let's... Okay, let's um, let's go on to another question. Jack, it is your turn to oh. choose the number. Jack, what do you? Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. All right. If you could live any in the oh, did we we maybe we did this one in David's? No, I don't think so. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, probably. Yeah. I would probably live in Norway why because I like Norwegian people and they have a lot of seafood and fish and I love fish so also Either Norway Norway and Japan are pretty close are they economically oh my god shut up that. okay so um Norway I've heard that Norwegian is like one of the easiest languages to learn if you're an English speaker as well which is interesting so yeah Perfect. Yeah, what do we learn know? Norwegian cool. and be an awesome Norwegian citizen. I don't know. Cool. Very cool. Mo Braxton, either of you got one? Definitely um, not the Western side, bro. Oh my God. America is a failed society, bro. Never. Oh, I thought you were talking about Israel. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. You said the Western about, side. What does that even yeah, mean? Yeah, oh, the Western, Western world. Western, like... The the U.S. bro. U.S. He's West talking West about the U.S. When he, when he means by the not Western not side, he means by U.S. No, like who Western says the Western side? side? Okay, oh. well, okay, go uh, for it. Don't people from Europe and Asia. That's what. Yeah, imagine, well, none of us are no, from not there. Having, We're all American. Imagine okay. not being a patriot to your country and yeah, just say the country of the future, bro. The city of the future, the country of the future. What's the city and country of the future? Oh, what what's that? The city of the future? Bunch of sand, bunch of dust. Oh, you talking about Saudi? Wait, what, wait, what country are you moving to? Dubai, bro. Oh, okay. Interesting choice. The Murph. The Murph. The one? <laughs> that challenge that we had at the school? The Murph challenge? What are you on about? The Murph challenge. Murph challenge, yeah. Okay. What does that have yeah, to do with, with Dubai? It, 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 it's a... It's a... Like, it's an American thing. So, like... Lieutenant Michael Murphy. It was, I think it was, I can't remember what know that is. What is that, bro? <laughs> it isn't what the Murph challenge is. I know you what know? that is. Okay, so, okay, so the Murph challenge, it's a hundred put, sorry, hundred. Everybody blocks. knows that, bro. Literally shut up, Mo. What do you want to know? Okay, talk. You can talk. You can, um, you're allowed to talk, Braxton. Shut the, shut like up, the Mo. story, what, what it is, is, like, what it represents. I don't know why he's saying Murph challenge. He's being really weird. Okay, here we'll move on. Braxton, where do you want to go? Okay, so there's two places. I either want to live in the middle of nowhere, Canada, um, like super north, or I want to live. Society. I got I got burned for this one. I want to live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, Vegas. Vegas, interesting. Didn't you say you went to Vegas? Was that you? Yeah, I went to Vegas. Yeah. Uh, the end of my eighth grade year. Pretty cool. It was, it was, yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. Cool. I can just. The thing is, Canada is corrupt, though. So... Mo, you think everywhere is corrupt? Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. Okay. Well, for me, I kind of agree with you. Some maple syrup. Can you stop? Okay. So I kind of agree with you. I want to live in like Montana, which is kind of close to Canada, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. Basically, that'd be awesome, just yeah. to like be where no one is and like mountains and cool stuff like that. So. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Have you watched so the Yellowstone? US, right. Have I watched also? Uh, my parents do. I haven't watched it, but it looks cool. Yellowstone's a good show. I nice. love it. 
Love Yellowstone. Pretty cool. It's got all these beautiful scenery of Montana and yeah, no, I went to I went to Montana. I went to Wyoming. We went to uh, Yellowstone in Montana. And it was so beautiful. So it's very cool. Jack, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Bro? Taking a nap. That's going on. That's going on. Feet Finder. I'm gonna. Lie. I can just podcast from my bed. It's oh, great. Okay, that's great. Okay, I like your chair, Braxton. It's really professional. <laughs> What yeah, you want to see it? Hold on. Yeah. I get up. I could literally. <laughs> oh my god, bro. We got the like, entire like I thing like tripped over. What is the Where's my brand? This is the brand. Where is it? I don't see it. It's down there. Oh. Okay. Jack, get up. J get up, Jack. Real men aren't tired, bro. Real men. Real men tired. aren't tired. Okay, I'm gonna pick a question. See. What's your favorite number? Uh, 23. Why? Do that one. Okay. The reason is, is uh, May 23rd, 2005. Um, and also, uh, I was born at 623. So it's pretty cool. Six, if six. you want a million dollars tomorrow, not today, tomorrow, uh, what would you spend it on? <sighs> time is money. Time is. I spend it on a watch so that I can know that time is money. 43 minutes. Literally, you should have started 43 minutes ago. If you don't want to be here, you can leave. The stock market is crashing. Yeah. <laughs> the stock market's I'll always crashing. I'll take, I'll take over your spot. Literally, bro. Okay. I'll, I'll take over your spot. Jack, you sleeping? Mm. I don't need to be <laughs> part of this matrix. Great. Okay, um. I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. Take bro. Okay, who wants oh, no. to answer first about no. the $10 million? <laughs> If they won ten million dollars, what would they spend it on? Ten, not hundred. Ten. Million. I would buy. Hundred million. That was oh, that was ten million. It was ten million. Ten million. Ten. Yep. It's a lot less. I would get it all converted to pennies, and I'd bury my enemies in pennies. Nice. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna spend it on like I'm gonna I I'd like buy it. How many pennies, pennies would that be? No, I'd like buy pennies and then feed it to Coinstar to lose all my money. Like man, fuck Coinstar. They're like a leech on society. Nah. You know, the machines we have that one of them at D and W that just feeds. Like, you give it pennies, and then it gives you like eighty percent. They just take your coins. So that's a good <laughs> money. Take your coins and give you bills, but they don't give you all your money back. So you're just like nah, just, just take a bunch from you. Yeah, they're a leech on the economy. It's great. How much do they take? I think I actually don't know. It might be less than eighty percent, probably. Uh, why the coins are the, the reason for Biden's failed economy. <laughs> the satanic Logan Paul and KSI, bro. I can't, can't sell them. Okay. You know about uh, Logan Paul and CryptoZoo? I can't believe you support them. <laughs> I do know that I do, yes. And the whole, like, pump and dump scams. Like, this a doink third coin? One. What is it? Doink, dink, doink coin? Yeah, it's like dick doing twenty and then like, something yeah. else. Nah, no, I just like the drink. It's actually kind of tasty, but it, it froze. So there's just kinda like is. there's just like a frozen thing in there. I don't even know, man. Frozen Prime is not as good as normal Prime. Okay. Anyway, well, let's see. Jack already did it. Uh, Braxton, Mo, what would you spend it on? Real estate, stocks, uh, save some. Man, it's fucking boring. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Honestly, I came on the podcast with just some super real answers compared to like you guys. Like I was gonna like spend the money on my parents because they take care of like me a lot, and I know I was hard growing up. So um, that's a good answer. You can be real, as real as you want. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I give it to them, um, take care of them, and then I would continue my flight training. Just like if anything was normal, I wouldn't spend on anything crazy. Maybe buy a plane after I'm done or, or whatever. Uh, so that's a realistic thing. Well, first of all, for me, I'd give it, uh, pay off my taxes for the rest of my life. So that that's not fun. But, you know, everyone's got to pay taxes. You die in life and you also pay taxes. But uh, besides that, I would probably, yeah, give some to my parents um, for obviously raising me. But then also, like, probably to like some some charity that i support and then 
I'd probably oh, only okay. save about like half or a quarter of it because I don't think to live. I feel like you don't need that much money to like realistically live like a. I'd want to just live like a suburban middle class life, so I'd just chill. So. Mm -hmm. What, what charity would you give it to? More um, specific. It depends. Um, like, like I, it can be multiple. Yeah, I think like, it doesn't have to I be think one. Some of the like he like. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but it's the obviously the animal rights ones is good because uh, there's a lot of suffering with the SPCA. that. Yeah, because like I've seen like maybe this is just targeted ads, but I've seen like obviously like there's just like thousands of dogs rampant in just like even like South American cities I think that just don't get fed or anything and like mm -hmm. it's kind of sad. He's Jack that... sleeping, bro. He's sleeping. It's Jack is sleeping, bro. But I would also probably do... we're having a... like heart association because I think my. We don't actually know because in the Jewish religion yeah. you can't do an autopsy, but I think my grandpa died of a heart attack. So Yo, what? Just, what? What did? What did I just hear? In the Jewish religion, you can't do an autopsy. Okay, buddy. Okay, well, what does that have to do with? Uh... No, can I tell you then? Yeah, explain it. Explain it. I don't know if my grandpa died from a heart attack, but he might have, so I'd probably donate to the Heart Association. What are they gonna do? Yeah, they're Research about my grandpa, bro. Heart disease? It, uh, it's literally it's the heart association. What else are they going to do? <laughs> they're going to pull gonna bring out back people's grandpa hearts. And and they're they're actually actually bring doing to help. Are they, are they going to bring back my grandpa? <sighs> they're going to bring back Brennan's grandpa. Ah, rise! You followed the right it's like the Doritos <laughs> commercial. Remember that? What? Yeah, the old Doritos commercial where he's just like, like he feeds like fish Doritos and the fish comes back to life so he did it on his like french grandfather what the heck? what the you haven't heck? seen that no i have looked at it for me so yeah. <laughs> you gotta look that up afterwards that's yeah it was super funny what happened to jack bro he's sleeping it's okay okay <laughs> jack braxton uh pick another matrix. number pick, pick a number pick another number um between one and fifty yeah right Ooh, uh, ten. Ten. Okay. <clears throat> what is your f favorite? Okay. Well, we'll uh, I don't. Okay. I might not actually if it's know. Not good, do it no, no, no. It's fine. One. I'll just, I'll just do. What's your favorite holiday? Which is fine, because it was favorite yeah, holiday, holiday movie. Which I guess you can answer that too. But I don't really know too many, just because I don't really watch holiday movies. Is there a Hanukkah movie? Favorite Hanukkah movie? No, it'd probably be a Christmas movie like Rudolph, but I'm saying like favorite holiday, it's probably just like the general I think it's Halloween. Like obviously, like that that's just not Halloween is satanic. Literally uh, I don't care. So, so it's like every single No, whoever dresses up as really, a devil. It's so fun. And I get to hang out with my neighbor kids and I just like shepherd. Why do you like to hang out with kids, bro? It's a fun why is, it always, why is everything associated with kids? Why is everything associated with kids? Literally, Mo is like the antagonist of this podcast. I'm not even yeah. going <laughs> Taking kids to, to the party. What do you do, bro? Like, <laughs> do you have anything else? What? Do I have what? In your life to do. That's a purpose. Like, like what? <laughs> He's essentially asking you, do you have a purpose in life or are you just dumb and a fat uh, piece of shit? purpose for me is, um, is, is, uh, no, actually I don't have any purpose. Yeah, I'm just a dumb, fat piece of shit, you know. I'm not living well, life. My purpose in life is to now. go to college, get a degree, and support a family. What about yours, Mo? You already know, bro. Make the bank. Be that successful. Give back. There you go. Inspire. It's looking like Andrew Tate right now. Yeah, honestly, it's very... Uh, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> it's very similar. Okay, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. What's your favorite holiday? <laughs> He's dead asleep. Hey, Jack. What's dead your ass. favorite holiday, buddy? Hey. Jake, No, are you dead? Jack, no. Hey, hey, my name, my name is Jack. He's my, waking up. My, into my the name is Jack. My favorite holiday. He's waking up. Jackie, what is your holiday? is a... Uh, it's, it's Halloween because I like to see the little uh, kitties run around. That's brand new, bro. I like November. Oh, Jack, that's really weird. What, why? Bro <laughs> likes November. It's uh, it's holiday though, not month, but. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving okay. Thanksgiving is pretty okay. cool.
Good. <laughs> great. Why? Nah. That's, that's great. Because family things. There you go. Nice. Thumbs up. Bye, Jack. There we go. Okay, but see you later, Jack. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Jack. Hey, um. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mower Braxton wants to go first for ho favorite holiday. Holiday. Okay, so what what constitutes as a holiday? Is it like a federal holiday? Like, we, like really, it does not matter. Or... Your concept of a holiday can be what holiday you want it to be. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess. <sighs> I guess it's tie between Christmas or Veterans Day. Uh, I mean, the tax day, bro. Or, no, veterans. But I mean, we're we're big military family, so I mean, we kind of celebrate Veterans Day because my dad was a vet. So, and, and then Christmas. So, which Christmas. branch? Navy. Navy, nice. Yeah. Cool. He was an aircraft mechanic. Well, yeah, he was an aircraft mechanic. Um, worked on F-18s, F-4s, um, Very cool. and engines like that. It was cool. Uh, why Christmas? Um, I guess, I mean, that's every, like, basic, like, kid, like, oh my god, I love Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I get, I get presents and that. Yeah. I mean, I'm just kind of like, yeah, presents, and I guess I kind of like the lore behind it. Lore. Like a story behind That's Christmas. An interesting way oh. to put the story of Christmas, the lore of Christmas. The lore of Christmas. Christmas lore, guys. Not only on Christianity, but Santa Claus too. Yeah, nice. Yeah, the mix of that. Because I mean, Saint Nick was uh, yeah. like a literal saint, and then they kind of converted like into like, hey, he gives presents, guys. So. Hey guys, he stinks into your house, yeah, let's go. and he puts presents underneath your tree and eats your food. <laughs> That's my favorite saint, not even gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, brother. <laughs> Great. Okay, Mo, what's your favorite holiday? I think my work here is done. I got some escaping to do. Okay, well, you still have more minutes to do, so... What's your favorite holiday, Mo? Jeez. Definitely not tax day, bro. Bro, you haven't even paid taxes. I'm not even gonna lie. You didn't- you don't work, Mo. You didn't say the purge. <laughs> Literally, Mo, you do not work. Don't worry. Hey, Mo, Jack. Is your favorite holiday the purge? Purge day? I'm good, bro. No, so, bro. What are you doing, bro? Hey, Jack. Uh, hey, Jack, bro. Uh, hey, Mo. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite holiday, Mo? Back. Ah, uh, when I say holiday. Literally, just pick a holiday, Mo. This is not that hard. Oh. Uh, article. Thank you. Thank you, Mo. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I don't Thank believe you. in that though. I don't believe in that, but I feel like it's it's a good holiday. I don't support, I like I don't support that, bro. No offense, but you I don't, don't support, support that. Hanukkah. Okay. You don't support Hanukkah, but it's his favorite holiday. Good so. W W. You like spinning the dreidels? You, you want it in America? I mean, who cares? That's haram, bro. Can't can't be doing that. So. Literally, I'm gonna make you spin a dreidel next year. You know. Literally, it's a spinning top. Have you played Beyblades? You probably haven't. I resist to the Matrix. You're trying to enslave me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna enslave you by spinning up. Jack, you good? He's dead. <laughs> he was I'm good. enslaved by the Matrix. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. For spinning a dreidel. <laughs> I'm back. I'm good. I'm chilling. Damn. Okay, we'll do we'll, we'll do uh, one more question because Mo think Mo feels like he needs to leave, right? Because Mo has some work to do. I'm busy. I'm a busy man. You're stupid, Mo. Yeah, gotta get back to Hustlers University. Got some CSP, some CSP oh, to do. Hey, Mo, uh, what? Pick a number 1 through 50. 49. Great. Wow, very edgy. No life was a number would be him. Okay, no, I don't like that question. That question's so open-ended. Uh, we'll do another one. You know what? Pick another Mo, one. Mo, this is like the most basic teenager thing ever to say. If you were to date two girls with their added ages up to 30, what would their two ages be? Talking a lot like uh, Adnan Sayed, bro. A lot <laughs> like English Paul. Okay, for context, we're listening to this thing called the Serial Podcast. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and Adnan Sayed uh, killed his girlfriend. Or maybe didn't. I don't know, actually. But uh, he, he he's innocent now, I think. But that was so... He's guilty. Why? He's 100% guilty. Bro. I don't know. I was not the answer to that. Call. Dude, there's, there's there's no uh there's no good answer to that i feel like it's jail time either way 
Okay, yeah, well, I'll yeah, say mine. Hold on, I'll say mine. Just give me a second. Because otherwise you have to go two 15-year-olds. That's really bad. <laughs> what do you mean, two 15-year-olds? Yo. Yeah, their ages have to combine to 30. Oh, um... That's what I'm saying. Th two 15 years is the best outcome here. <laughs> oh, otherwise, it's gonna be. A, otherwise, if you're going like with an 18 year old, you're gonna have to have like a 12 year old. Oh shoot! Yeah, we'll do two 15 then, I guess. But that's not an issue I'm, for me, but like, you know, no, I'm saying you guys are old majors. I'm still a minor. That's getting a little sus for you guys. I don't, I don't like the way you said that. What do you mean? Uh, Jack is spitting straight facts in this scenario. Okay, well let me let me do one more question here. Uh, we'll have Jack pick it last. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 was your number for um the two of them, and then that'll be your number for the question. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm 15, going with, 15, uh, right. 26 and four. <laughs> <laughs> 29 and 1. 30 and 0. No, no, no. I'm no, no. my four year old. I'm born fetus. <laughs> 31 and negative 1. 30 yeah, and 0. If you think about it, no, no, no. If you think about it. Yeah, you'd be conceiving. Actually, I didn't think about that. Nine months to. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I would do that. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, wait, no. No, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Alright, Jack, one more number, one more number. With a mill. This is a weird situation that we just put ourselves yeah, into. Yeah, it's because I... Braxton asked a goofy eye uh, question. Braxton, why you ask a goofy eye uh, question? <laughs> Nothing's uh, question. happening! Okay. Jack? Okay, uh... Braxton, you're disappointing, bro. 42. 42. At what time of the day? Uh, that's really fucking boring. This is like industrial and expertise. I'll have you do this. Uh, pick a number 1 through 15, then. Bro wasted literally five minutes. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. <laughs> Trying to pick a number. Okay, that's what's really not good, but I'll do it for like, if you go back to your 13 year old self, because it says if you go back to your 12 year old, or well, if you go back to your 18 year old self and give one piece of advice, what would it be? I'm not 18 yet. All of you are 18, so that wouldn't really work. So if you go back to your own self, no. Okay, if you go back to your 13 year old self, what would you give one piece of advice? So you're starting, you're going to start high school literally the next year. Drop out. <laughs> Don't drop out. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Junior year is terrible. Junior year? Was it really? Was it bad for you? What's wrong with junior year? God, junior every, everything was wrong. Everything was wrong with that year. Interesting. The work, the workload is crazy. What about you, Mo? To my 13 year old self? Yeah, to your 13 year old self, because you're already, you're still 13. 18. I would say this perfectly. I would say, uh, whatever you believe in, whatever you see, whatever you think of, as part of the matrix, resist now. So I think you would have called yourself cringe, I'm gonna be honest. Like, your 13 year old self? Whatever I say, called... whatever I say is actually true, bro. Yeah. All right. If the matrix turns out, then we're all yeah, in the matrix. Part of a simulation, bro. a test to God. Find the best version of yourself. All right, um, mine would probably be things get better. You don't, you won't always sound like a little fucking squeaker, but also you will be until sophomore year. That's mine. <laughs> okay, what about yours, Braxton? To end it off, we'll see. Um, don't be a toxic piece of shit, people. <laughs> That's good. I mean, you weren't freshman year. You were just goofy freshman year. No, Mil people knew me in middle school. Yep. Talking about hockey school. every day. No, I just hated my middle school life. Mm. I was toxic. I wish I was a better person. Well, you got to start over at Wama, and I think you made a good impression, so. Hopefully. You were Could've a pretty cool you. guy. The only reason I know like what you looked like was because of the Salty Hockey uh, YouTube channel. It was great. It was a W YouTube channel. I'm going to we don't talk about it. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't talk about. It. We don't talk. About it. Okay. We'll talk about it. Mo, do you have to go? I have to start. Mo's gonna get back to the major. Mo, can we do one more question or not? <sighs> I'm good, bro. You're good with no more questions. 50, 50, 50. 63 minutes of my time. I could have used that time. 
okay. towards something. Mm. It'll make me money. Mo, literally, yeah, if you get in that degree from the university in the bitch department. Oh my god. Uh. Nah, he decided. No <laughs> he decided way, he, he just done. ended it without even. <laughs> the disrespect. Okay, we're looking for a new host. I'm I, I think he just hates Danny, me. Danny, Danny, Danny could I be a new host. I think he's just really pissed good. off at me. Danny got a webcam now too. So no, Danny, I think Mo Danny's is all... way too religious and political. God damn. Way too religious. Way too political. Well, unreliable. Unreliable narrator, bro. Not even gonna lie. Top G oh, fanatic. I... <laughs> I mean, I think it might just sound pretty fucking racist for saying this, but I think it might just be because he went, just came back from Saudi Arabia and learned about more about his culture and more about all this uh, stuff. It might be, but and also I think that, that was more he's always been like that. And now he's coming. He's always yeah. like that. He's kind of always he, like that. But he, he was really like that before. He exercised the, yeah. the quantity of it, uh, this podcast, but. Sure did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure yeah. did. God. All right. Dang. Well. Yeah. Good podcast episode. Very yeah, interesting. We might be seeing a, another sub yeah. different people next time. Uh, we might be doing Aaron. Everyone knows Aaron, right? Oh, yeah. We love Aaron. Barry's I was supposed to go on with Zeke. Yeah. Aaron. That's okay. Yeah, we'll we'll do another with time Zeke. with a. Oh, it's going to be hard, but yeah. we'll try and get old, both of you guys again. So. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. This podcast kind of sucked. That's no, fine. I thought it was really good. I don't know. I I, you, I, I enjoyed my time. Yeah, you had very good, good answers that were very down to earth <clears throat> and kind of brought me back to, you know, not Goofy Town. So I appreciate that. <laughs> good. I put, I goofy Town, the Matrix. <laughs> oh, damn. It's great. I, I, just, I just slept. Yeah. Half did, of it. Yeah, you did sleep. That was great. Yeah. yeah. Need more Danny needs to give you that energy, goddamn. No, nah, when he, if he's <laughs> gonna be a host, then oh my god, all the energy it's for days. It's gonna be a scary podcast if he's a host, but we'll see. I mean, his episode is doing really well right now on the yeah. YouTube. Danny, Danny yeah. Mr. Baker. Yeah. Was. Bro, Mr. Baker's crazy good podcast. No. Well, oh my god, think about him and Mo. Oh no! 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 That would that would be a podcast. That'd be a podcast. That would be a podcast. That would. Well, Braxton, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. We had a great time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, even though Mo maybe didn't have a great time, so. Mo's a little bit. Mo's interesting. Is that is that normal or no? Yeah. No, yeah. that's 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 about how his podcasts go and our lift talks go. You know, and lift yep. it gets interesting. Uh, so. He's a. I thought he was putting on a show, but I'm actually worried that he actually believes in like the top G stuff. <laughs> like I'm fine with whatever religion he's doing, yeah. but to the top G, that stuff is just too much for me. I don't know. It's a. Uh, I mean, maybe he yeah. could have been joking. I was joking about it. I mean, but he was like, "Man, I gotta spend so much time on this." Like, yeah. Maybe it's all just a facade. We will never know. He's too. I don't. I don't, don't want to get him behind his back. I'm dissing him behind, behind his back because he's the. I'll, I'm gonna say something real quick before we end this show. Um, even when he got back in the U.S., there's well, I think there was three times we tried to do the podcast and he just did not show up. So that was a really fun time to deal with. So I think the Bing Chilling podcast may have a change in hosts. Uh, shortly. It might. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk with Mo. Um, yeah, if you can't do it, we'll, we might get uh, Danny on as just like a addition plus another guest. So. Yep. It should be good. We should have a minimum of three people on, because otherwise it gets just me and Jack talking, and we get J and B sessions again. So <laughs> we do not want to go back we to those days. Go back J J and B sessions. Goddamn. Yeah. Thank you so much, Braxton, for coming on. I really appreciate it. And that's the end of the Bingling Podcast. Thank you guys for watching. See you. Bye bye.